Holy sh Superhuman just changed email again. So we were wrong about superhuman. In our last video, we said, the first area that superhuman won't fix your problems is if your team needs to collaborate on email. And superhuman turned everything we said upside down because they have just released a new feature called shared conversations and team comments. And my gosh, this is exactly what we've been missing when it comes to email. It has just been the perfect addition. Now I'll get into how it works in just a second, but if you are already a superhuman user, then all of the features that I'm gonna talk about in this video are already included in your plan at no extra cost. So you just wanna go into your superhuman account and hit command K and update to get the latest version and you're good to go. But if you're new to superhuman or you wanna get some more team members on board with the release of these new features, then make sure to head on over to the link down in the description to grab yourself and your team a free 30 days. Now let's get into exactly how these new collaboration features work and five tangible benefits that you and your team will experience from using them. So there are two components that I wanna talk about today. The first is the ability to collaborate with your team via team comments. So to use this, hit M for mention, or you can just go down into the comment box and at mention any team members. And then upon sending the message, hit command enter, and you're going to be prompted to share the conversation with them. And then when you jump into your inbox, you're going to see this little share icon and that will indicate to you that that conversation is shared. And then every time a new comment is added or there's a new email in the thread, the conversation's going to be bumped up to the top of your inbox for you to see. Okay, so you're probably wondering what happens if my team is not using Superhuman and I at mention them? Well, the first thing you wanna do is pause this video and send them the link for a free 30 days and then come back and resume the video to learn that whether they're using Superhuman or not, they will still get updates on the thread. But still send them that link anyway because it'll make their day if you do. Those without Superhuman will be invited to the conversation as a guest and unlike CC, anyone outside of your team will have no idea that the conversation is even shared. It's pretty cool, right? Anyone that's invited as a guest will get notified in their inbox that there has been a new comment or an email in the thread so they can still stay on top of it. And don't worry, this isn't a permanent decision because once you share the conversation, you can also stop at any time by just revoking access to the shared thread. Or if somebody has shared a conversation with you and you don't want to continue to get inundated with updates, then you can always just mute the conversation or you can ask the person that originally shared the conversation with you to stop. I prefer to just mute it just because if I ever want to peek in and see any updates that I might have missed, it'll still be there. However, um, sometimes I just don't want it in my inbox. While it's absolutely awesome to be able to share these conversations externally, irregardless of what email client everybody's using, at the end of the day, the best experience for you and your team is still going to be if you're using Superhuman together. And one other perk of using Superhuman together as a team is that you can also take advantage of Superhuman's multiplayer features. Features like team red statuses, AKA you can stop asking your team, did so-and-so open that email? Because you can see for yourself, even though you didn't actually send the email yourself, I personally love this feature. Team reply, which allows you to see when someone else on your team is replying to an email and team snippets, which are basically shared email templates. We don't use this one that often because we also use a help desk where we do keep a ton of email templates. But if you're not using a help desk, then you definitely wanna be using team snippets. So a new feature is a new feature, but what are the practical applications of using them? Well, here are five benefits that you can expect to enjoy with your team. And these are the benefits that we started experiencing already as we've been using this over the past couple of weeks. Benefit number one is deeper team collaboration. How many times have you wanted to add something to a conversation, but you didn't quite get a chance to? Maybe you even sent a message to your teammate in Slack and they missed it and then they respond back hours later saying, oh, I just saw your message now. Or what about when you want to ask a team member for some feedback before you actually hit send on an email, but then the thought of copy and pasting the email in Slack just sounds absolutely draining, so then you just decide to wing it? That basically is what I do, I'll admit. I won't go through the extra work, and I will just proceed on. 
what we're finding with team comments is that we're actually checking in with one another way more frequently. And as a result, our responses are way more fully featured covering in a single email what might have taken three or more emails otherwise. Not to mention less cases of the dreaded double send where I'll write an email with my thoughts, Alex will write another email with his thoughts and having to say, hey, make sure you also read Andra's email up above. With team comments, we are now able to just have that deeper level of collaboration. Benefit number two is that responsibility is more equally distributed. You know when you get an email and you're not sure what you want to say back, but your team members are CC'd and your name is in the to field, which means that everyone assumes that you're going to be the one that's responding. Essentially, the full burden of responding to this email falls on you. With team comments, of course, you can now pull in the appropriate team members, or if you're one of the people that are CC'd, do your teammate a favor and leave them a quick comment with some of your thoughts because we all know the feeling all too well of having that burden to respond. What we're finding is we're actually drafting partial responses for each other in this team comment section. So I might say something like, hey, here's my two cents. And then what I'm finding is Alex will copy and paste exactly what I wrote and add in his thoughts to his response reply. So instead of the responsibility of responding falling on one person, you're now getting to share it much more with your team. Benefit number three is more clarity. How about this? So you know when you get an email and your name is in the two box along with another one of your team members, the email is addressed to both of you, and the way the email is written, you've just conveniently made a note mentally that it's more addressed to them, not you. Oh, how convenient! So you basically decide that they're going to be the one responding. Well, they also decide that the same somewhere along the way. And what happens? The email goes unresponded for a week, maybe a couple days. Then after some time, you realize that nobody's actually responded to that email and it's sitting in your inbox. So you finally nudge your coworker. Were you going to respond to this? No, I thought you were going to. This pain point has been totally eliminated since we started using team comments because now we'll just tag each other and say, hey, I'm actually dreading responding to this. Any chance you can take this one? Or, hey, I've got this. I'm thinking of saying something like this. Anything you want to add? Until having these features, we didn't realize the level of fatigue we had from the uncertainty of not knowing who is going to be running with responding. So it's been really cool to get to pass the ball back and forth just in a way more efficient and clear way. Benefit number four is a higher business impact. The shared conversations and team comments are especially helpful for those of you who are not yet using a help desk. This is a really great entry point for that collaboration, especially for sales and customer support teams. Think about when you're trying to move a project forward or you're trying to close a sales deal. Now you have the entire support of your team at your fingertips. Maybe there's somebody better on your team to take over the email thread or they may have some additional context that is missing. Well, now you can tag team with them, mention them in the comments and every response that you send back is way more high impact. Benefit number five is fun team vibes. Team Comments hasn't only made us more efficient, it's also been fun learning new ways of how we can collaborate and help each other. When we started using Team Comments, almost every message that I got from Alex started with, oh my God, I'm so excited that I can share this with you now, and I can just feel his excitement through the screen. The truth of the matter is that collaborating with one another and being able to do it in a more quick and effective way has also made answering emails a touch more fun because we get to feel that support from one another and it feels like less of a burden. With all that being said, Superhuman used to be just an email tool and now it's actually so much more than that. It's a team collaboration tool that we are finding is making us more productive and we're getting to take some of the conversations that we've had on Slack and bring them where they belong, which is our inbox. So if you're curious if Superhuman can help make your team more productive, especially if you're not using a help desk, would highly recommend sending everybody the link down in the description, getting everyone a free 30 days and seeing how your productivity changes over the next month. At the end of the day, that is going to be the best experience to see if it makes an impact for your team. Now, if you're not yet using Superhuman at all, then you can also check out our full review on Superhuman so you can get a better understanding of all the features that we love and why we can't go back to regular email after using Superhuman for about five years now. And now that you have your email collaboration down pat, make sure you check out this video where we share how we use our project management tool to film videos just like this one. There's a lot involved for different people as well as a little bit of AI magic. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please make sure to do that as well. And we'll see 
you in the next video. Thanks for your time and attention. Can you tell me, are my hands in the video when I do this? I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great.